I know I did a haul video a couple weeks back. Got another one. Here are some more fragrances that have come in the mail for yours truly. Some that I've bought, some that were sent to me for review. Stay tuned. What's going on, everybody? My name is Joshua, and this is our channel, Scent Sense. To all the loyal subscribers and the people who continue to watch my videos when they do come out, to you fine folks, whoever you may be and wherever you may be, thank you so much. And to all you new people who keep coming back for more because you're a glutton for punishment, but you haven't decided what you want to do. You're kind of just on the fence. Subscribing costs you nothing. Just go ahead and do it. Jump in. Today we'll be talking about fragrances that I recently received in the mail, my fragrance haul if you will. Starting things off are two fragrances from the house of Zaharoff. These are Signature Noir and Signature Royale. Now, I really like the presentation on George's fragrance boxes. They're really cool, really unique and different. The bottles look a whole lot like the uh, original fragrance, the uh, Pour Homme or the, uh, you know, Zaharoff Signature. But these are a little bit smaller. These are a smaller version. This is only a two ounce, which is plenty enough because honestly, I'm more of a small bottle guy. Not all of us have to, you know, overcompensate. I'll be diving into these really soon, getting to know them, getting to smell them. And then I will come back to you fine folks and let you know what I think. Another one that I received not too long ago was from the house of Kieran NYC. The fragrance is called Rose Ink. So this is the box, as you can see. It's a really cool and different box. It's really weird the way it opens. It kind of pops open, actually. It tells me to open the other side, but you know, I don't follow directions at all. The bottles look a lot like all the other ones. They kind of have a stock feel, but the vibe of these bottles are really, really cool. This is, as you can see, a rose-based fragrance, and I will definitely be wearing this very soon and letting you know exactly what I think. Next up is one that I am super excited about. This was sent to me by the fine folks at Euro Perfumes. They recently added the brand of Wilhelm Perfumery to their umbrella. I'm sure many of you have heard of this brand. It is a niche luxury brand out of the NYC. This one right here, I've been waiting for for so long and it is my favorite note and fragrance of all time. It's Fig. And the fragrance we're talking about is Purple Fig by Wilhelm Perfumery. So let's just real quick check out the presentation on this. The box has this really cool, like imprinted embossed, you know, grooves on it. It's yellow. It's really bright. It really pops out. I think it would look great on a, on a shelf, of course. And then the bottle rests inside like this in this little bitty, like, you know, coffin, if you will. And these bottles are just really cool looking, man. Look at that. I mean, that's just next level presentation there and I mean you can hold it by the cap which is cool but it's also magnetic. Yes it kind of does look like a really glamorous hockey puck but it's what's inside that counts. <sighs> Bruh. So usually in these videos I ask you which one you want to hear about first but to be completely honest it doesn't really matter because this one's coming up very soon. This one right here I haven't been this stoked for a while. Next up is another fragrance that I recently purchased. This one is probably one of the most slept on freshies from this brand. It's often overlooked for like every other one from this line. And I think that this one deserves a little more attention. This is just a mass appealing, crowd pleasing, easy to wear freshie from the house of Calvin Klein. This is from the house of Calvin Klein, CK Everyone. See how they did that instead of CK1, it's CK everyone. Clever, right? This is just a super easy to wear freshie. This is a citrusy, grapefruity, yummy in the tummy kind of fragrance. This right here, in my opinion, is probably one of the easiest to wear from the line. And this is super unisex and super cheap. So if you're looking for a stocking stuffer, which is gonna be coming up in a video not too long from now, my top 10 stocking stuff for fragrances. This one, without a doubt, will definitely be on that list. Last but not least is a new release from the house of Amouage. This one has been overlooked for the other fragrance from the line called Enclave by a lot of the reviewers out there. I personally think this one is ridiculous. From the house of Amouage, 
Amawash, Meander. So let's just like look at this presentation. The box has got a little flap, it's magnetic. It's got a description of the fragrance. It seems like to be a, a new trend that you see in all of these, uh, you know, high-end fragrances. But look at that bottle. It's just really pretty, man. It just is next level bottle. It's got like this milky see-through effect. The cap is really pretty. It's also magnetic as with every other homage and this one. Gonna hear about it soon, my friends. Again, thank you so much, the fine folks at Euro Perfumes for thinking about your boy. All right, that about wraps it up. So what are some fragrances from that list that you wanna hear about? Leave a comment in the comment section below which one you wanna hear about the most or which ones have you actually smelled? And while you're at it, go ahead and show that you've liked the video since you've made it to this point of the video. Click that like button. And while you're clicking, just go over a little further, click on the subscription button. And while you're at it, complete the trifecta of clicking the notification bell. That way when my videos come out, you will be the first to know. If you know anybody who wants to know more about fragrances, hit that share button, send it their way. All right, man, I thank you guys so much for stopping by. And as always, but most importantly, I'll smell each and every one of you later. Peace.